You know, but you know when you have those songs though, like when uh, when your friend sings that one part of the song, which one? and you just sing it for the rest of the day. Oh, for, you know what I hate the freaking um the Bill. No, it's not Bill Gates. Which one? Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm talking Bro, about. Bro, so there's this like Jeffrey Bezos song. It's like Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos. Like an anthem fam? Like a no, Yeah, anthem? it's something like that. It, it's like a TikTok song. Okay. Every time it plays, bro, that shit gets yeah. stuck in my head and it's so annoying, man. Really? It's just like, um, you, what, what's that country kid? It was like- Oh, the, um, the, in Walmart? Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the kid at Walmart. Oh, I, actually, Walmart. I actually like that song, but it always gets stuck in your head. Well, how does it go again? Oh, uh, um, uh, yeah, 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 yo. No, it's just not a that. beautiful dream. You, that's the song, no, no, bro. No, not the one in Walmart. That's that's a Walmart song. It was way more catchy than that. No, but that's like the part of it. Ah, um, like, uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know the lyrics though. I don't know. But yeah, like now, it, like TikTok. I go mm. on and that's like SoundCloud now. Like you discover so many songs. Because everybody's on there, bro. From TikTok. Everybody. I think most of Gen Z mm -hmm. is on TikTok. We don't we don't go on Instagram as much. We don't even go on we don't go on Facebook, bro. Yeah. And a lot of people aren't even going on YouTube anymore. YouTube will always be there, but TikTok is like Yeah, that's that's the main one. That's the main shit. Yeah, cause cause and it sucks when your favorite song gets on TikTok and they outplay it. Oh my god, there's oh, so that many. Sucks. But yeah. But it, it it's dope when you like hear stuff come back you know what, I mean? what like what do you mean you know when like a song would come up uh -huh. on an album or like a project you wouldn't have listened to before like for example like remember wolves by kanye yeah the the Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my god and it turns into like a meme and shit a meme and then it starts like getting but it starts sounding good yeah, yeah. it starts sounding good and then before you're like ah oh, that, that sounds kind of whack Cause, cause, all yeah. of a sudden it just comes like it comes back and then you see it in a different light because you listen to it so much that it kind of gets on that's why i hate uh when um cardi's album came out yeah the first reaction to it was i'm a hate on this because this is so Where? trash right mm -hmm. but now it's been like what like four months I, I feel like it still holds the same thing though really it's not that to, to me it's it's really cool like you have to give certain albums a listen like the new pop smoke one they f that I, one didn't, up. I didn't f that at yeah, all bro i i wanted pop smoke's last album to be um shoot shoot for the stars aim for the moon because i think that was his best yeah one. If they should have ended off like that because i feel like they just did that whole Pop Smoke album with all the throwaways yeah. just to make money, bro. Yeah. And I feel like it's, it's disrespectful to Pop because why are you releasing such a weird album and yeah. he's not there to like, you know? And I saw this thing on Twitter. It was like um the the features he had on there, he would have never featured with. Yeah, he said he would only feature with people from like New York. <laughs> Fam, there, there was an interview with Pop Smoke. He's like, I don't even with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you see the album. <laughs> dum, 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 yeah, dum. I know. Feature, feature. He would have he yeah. no to that, but bro. but the, I I rated the Chris Brown one though that sh that shit was fire. Oh yeah, yeah. Th that was the hard. only good part, like song on the album to be mm. honest. Yo, are you excited for uh, Donda though? Woo, Donda, Loki. Did you watch the um when he previewed it? Like, no, I didn't. I didn't. I, I saw like clips, of course, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't like tune in live. Was it live? Yeah, it was live. So I I listened to it. Right. Yeah. This guy, of course, Kanye. He's gonna do Kanye things. Yeah. Forty minutes late. Word. To his own listening party. Right? Really? Yeah. So he walks out and he it's in the Mercedes Benz Stadium mm -hmm. and he walks out with a <laughs> everything's white and it's just. Him all red. <laughs> Yo, you know why? Why? It was because of because of Akira. Because he's a huge fan of Akira. No way. And the main character in Akira wore that red like, top like, and, and bottom, a full red outfit. Oh, really? Remember on the bike? Like yeah, the, red the bike. bike and shit? Yeah. So people were putting like pictures of him mm -hmm. beside like pictures of Akira. Yeah. And look, it, it, it suited the vibe, bro. That was his whole kind of like Word. aesthetic for it. My friend went to it because he they were in, um I think it was in Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they went to it and it was like a five hour wait for him to actually perform. Damn. But it was crazy. Mm. Then that one snippet, what's that one? It was like, God, he's done miracles on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit, I literally So like you're going to heaven, bro. It, it made me want to pray. Like, like. No, facts, facts. You know? Yo, okay, what, what do you think? Do you think Kanye, he, here's the thing, bro. Yeah. I always go back and forth. I'm like, is Kanye more goaded than Drake or is Drake the goat? Who, who do you think's more goaded right now? At okay. the moment. Here, here's the way I look at it, right? Yeah. If we're talking like billboard numbers, mm -hmm. plays, streams, everything. Okay. Drake. Yeah. Drake. You know what I mean? But if we're going like- Let's talk all achievements. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying. If we're talking about influence on art, yeah. influence on sound, influence on even producing, because he was a producer before a rapper, right? Yeah. Then I have to give the edge to Kanye. Yeah. Because Drake, Drake's a rapper and a singer, mm -hmm. but Drake doesn't produce. Drake isn't 
a fashion. Do, Drake doesn't produce. I he swear he's produced. Produce, does he? I swear he produced like a one-two track, but like. But Kanye he's not though, known for, for that. Producer, yeah. He's not known for that. You know right? who does produce? Nav. He was like producer before he came. No, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. beats by Nav. It yeah, was yeah, beats yeah, by Nav yeah. for anyone. <laughs> yo, you remember that one time I was like, yo, listen to this track. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, who is this? I'm like, yeah, yo, yeah. it's me. It's me. <laughs> It was like it was like Nav before nobody any, anyone knew who Nav was. And I, was I just like, sent you. Wait, I was like, "Yo, you're gonna make it, man!" <laughs> and then it was like, I was like searching up. I was like, "Oh, this is it's a brown boy from like Brantford or something." Yeah. Like that. <laughs> okay, yo, but um, Kanye, right? Yeah. With Donda, mm-hmm. I feel you know how people are making memes. Oh, we're waiting on Donda. It's gonna yeah. be like another year or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I have a theory, right? Yeah. I have a theory that the reason he's not dropping Donda, yeah, is because Drake is dropping this year also. Oh. So whoever drops first, yeah. the, the person that comes after will have the edge. So think about it, right? Why the person after? So let's say Drake drops. Okay. Drake drops, mm-hmm. huge. Yeah. If Kanye drops the next week, everybody from Drake crowd is moving to see what Kanye did. Mm-hmm. Feel me? If Kanye drops first, <laughs> yeah. Drake drops the next week, everybody's moving <laughs> to Drake. Feel me? That's that's marketing like to its like peak, fam. Exactly. So that's my theory is the reason... All these delays are happening. Yeah. Even with Drake. Drake was supposed to drop this how long ago? He, I think um, beginning of 2021, he was supposed to drop. Yeah, he was supposed to drop Certified Lover Boy, but yeah. we, we haven't heard from it yet. And <laughs> Donda, bro, we were getting all these delays. Yo, fam, it has to be true. Yo, yo saying saying if if none of them want to drop, we're not getting both albums. <laughs> no, <that's not. laughs> like Drake's like, no, Kanye, like, well, let's get it on FaceTime. Yeah. If you don't drop, I'm not dropping. It, it's like a it's like a game of um chicken. Yeah. You know, you know in Fast and Furious where they're both like ramming each other? Yeah, yeah. Whoever whoever moves out of the way first loses. That's true. But there, there was also like the real reason why Kanye doesn't like scraps all his albums. Mm. It's just because he just doesn't wa- he just doesn't like it at the moment because Kanye is so mm. like yeah, sporadic. Yeah. Like no, if he doesn't like true. it, then because he is he was diagnosed bipolar. Yeah, but that's what I I really admire about Kanye. Like he can scrap a work of art and just not think about it mm. about what the people say. You know, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. to himself. Like I don't want to put that out. That's not good. Word. You know, and because uh, me, I I kind of tend to rush stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I don't like waiting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like if if if, it, if you put so much time into something, you want to really you make sure. Release it, yeah, but Kanye is that big attachment. Right? But he can spend five years on an album and he still won't drop it. Mm. But here's a funny reason why uh, Yandy didn't drop. Why? Why? Because they're saying that Kanye found that the law of attraction was real mm. and it was too much for him, so he just what? didn't drop. Wait, what? It was such a random fact. That he yeah. just didn't want to drop it anymore. That Yandi because of the law of attraction, he he found out it was real. What the fuck? <laughs> Told you he's a weird. Really? Guy. He said that before? Yeah. He said that like in, in like a, in the interview. Damn. Yeah. What the fuck? And like I, I think another one where um, life of Kanye. He he delayed another album because he was on opium. Yeah. And then like he had some crazy thoughts and he just didn't want to. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn, bro. Okay, yo, yo. I have the craziest Kanye theory. Right, for tell, you, me, tell me. Craziest Kanye theory. Okay, get this right. Bro. Bet. So David Bowie, he okay. has an album. David Bowie has an album. It's called Ziggy Stardust. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now in his album cover, yeah, there's a sign that says K West. Oh, I K can't... West, right? Yeah. Now get this. He dropped another album, and he had two songs on the album. One was Five Years. The yeah. song called Five Years. In this song, he says, "In five years, there's gonna be a star to save us. Yeah. To save the world, right? Mm-hmm. Now get this, bro. Now he drops another song called Starman. Yeah. Starman, he says, this person will come and he's gonna he's gonna make everything different. Yeah. He's gonna change mindsets. He's gonna change everything. He's gonna change like the flow of society, whatever, right? Yeah. So that album, yeah, that dropped on June 16, 1972. Okay. So five years after, yeah. going back to the five years song, five years after, Kanye West was born. Yeah, I, I see that too. <laughs> and that's the new star, right? Yeah, yeah. So in David Bowie's last album, last project, uh-huh. it was called Black Star. And he said, the black star will save us. Holy smokes! And that's Kanye West. And then Kanye West tweeted exactly when when David Bowie passed, and he said, "What? He tweeted that? Yeah. He said no. He he said like, uh, condolences to David Bowie. Like he was a big inspiration to me. To him, like, everything. Yeah. The fact that he was an inspiration to him kind of makes me think mm-hmm. is like, oh no, reincarnation. They were definitely like, I don't know, bro. What's what's that K West for? Yeah, I don't know. Right? Kanye West. That's the yeah, only that's reason. Kanye West. For <laughs> Why would it be anything else? And he did change up like the whole thing because. Fam, you don't see any other rappers running for president. Yeah. Right? He's changing, like, the whole game. See, that's the thing. That's why I contemplate, okay, maybe he is GOAT in the sense where he's done so much more than, than Drake. Drake. Yeah. Because, look, look, Drake 
Drake's the greatest, I guess, rapper in the in the sense of all genres. Yeah, he's he can hit. In, in music. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's hit all the genres. He made billboard hits in every single genre. Yeah. Fucking obliterated streams, mm-hmm. beat the Beatles. Fair I mean, enough. Kanye didn't do that, but Kanye did so much more things on the other side. Yeah. Like designing. <laughs> You, Architect- yeah. He even did architecture and shit, you know? Like actual buildings? Yeah, he designed his own house and everything. Yeah. So I think, bro, I think Kanye, he's so much greater as a creative. Yeah, for sure. Because he's he's not he's not the GOAT rapper, but he's the GOAT creative. I feel like he doesn't trap himself into a box. Like, he's always trying to get out, mm-hmm. right? Because, like, say... um. What do you call this? Like YouTubers like us. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to be known as just YouTubers for the rest of our lives. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Like we want to be known more for that, you know? And mm-hmm. I feel like, okay, maybe if you want to do movies, you're gonna have to step out the box and do like what Kanye does and and try to get people used to not seeing you as just the guy behind a mic. Yeah. Cause you know what? Um the the forest vlog, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of comments were like, yo, I, I didn't know you guys have legs. <laughs> you know, and they're so used to us being yeah, in this room, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, it's good that we're kind of uh, going out of that realm of just podcasters, because you, you know you gotta break those patterns fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the moment where p- people get comfortable with a certain image, then that's I guess you get stuck like that. Yeah. Because right now people are so open to what you want to see, what you want to do, what what you want to say. Mm-hmm. You can really go into anywhere you want, yeah. but you gotta take that kind of initiative to do that. Because if you just stay with what you're comfortable <laughs> with, you'll never find out. Yeah. You know what I mean, if you just stick to what you know, mm-hmm. stick to what you're good at. Shit, you'll never find out if you're better at this. Exactly. Never find out if you're better at that. Yeah. So you got to just go out there and just go do it. So yeah, someone told me, he's like, yo, staying in your comfort zone will be like the d- downfall of you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, at first I didn't get that because like, okay, I'm, I'm, I know what my comfort zone is. Yeah. But if I step out and shit and do what I really want to do, like the universe will reward you for being brave, I feel like. Because mm-hmm. um, there's this quote Will Smith said. Yeah. He said, God put the best things in front of of something terrifying mm, yeah. something terrifying yeah so the best things you have to be brave to get to yeah. you have to have the courage to get to so for an example he said skydiving mm-hmm. one of the scariest shits ever bro yeah you're jumping out of a plane <laughs> yeah nothing attached to you you know I mean? if you don't if that if you pull the lever and it doesn't go off you're, you're just, <laughs> it's, it's wraps bro there's nothing holding you yeah so all that anticipation yeah all of that build up it it forces you to be brave so that you can have that pleasure. You can have that enjoyment of like yeah. the free fall. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, and he said, Will Smith said that's bliss. That's complete bliss oh, is bliss. when you just, you can just float yeah. in the air like that. Cause fam, like, like I said, like for the people that are going through like tough times, mm-hmm. like I, I always say this to people uh, that God gives the toughest challenges to his toughest soldiers. Mm. Right. And that's what I always kind of like live by. Yeah, Cause yeah. it's like, now that I see an obstacle, I'm like, okay. It's just an obstacle. I can get through that. Mm. You know. What do you think is the most recent like obstacle you had to face? Obstacle? Oh, that's a good question. Like recently. Recently. Whether it even been just finding yourself, whether it just been just like trying to figure out what you want to do, because I feel like that's a huge one. Oh no. Okay, I can say this. Uh, so um, I feel like okay. I just feel like this podcast kind of saved both of us. Mm. Cause um, when what before this podcast started. I went through like a really bad breakup, right? Yeah. And and uh, if uh, for the people who that go through breakups, it kind of makes you feel like worthless. Mm. Like, oh, why, why, why did she she leave me? Am I not good enough for her? Yeah. You know. And I remember, I remember her telling me, I was like, yo, the the one thing that stuck in my mind was, yo, why why do you want to break up with me? And she said, I, I just don't want to lie to my parents no more, mm. right? And then as time went by, I kind of I kind of realized that no, that she was lying to me. It's that. I'm not worth lying for her, yeah. but she can obviously lie for another guy, mm-hmm. right? And it kind of made me feel feel weird, bro. No, that's so true. Cause, look, look at it like this: like, if they want to be with you, they'll be with they'll you. They'll be with you. They'll, they'll be fight, with you. Yeah. They'll do whatever they they can to mm-hmm. do that. But if it's not worth it to them, then it just wasn't worth it to them. Yeah. And you have to find your your worth. You have to know your worth. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You don't want to just give up everything to them. Mm-hmm. Never. Yeah. You always want to be in the in the position where. I'm happy. I know my true value. Yeah. This is where I am. This is where I'm stable. This is where I should be. Mm-hmm. Never want to be second guessing yourself. Like, shit. Like, maybe, maybe I, I deserve better. Yeah. You know what I mean, maybe, maybe this isn't right for me. Yeah. And, and going back to my story, like how this podcast kind of saved me mm-hmm. is because now that I can just express the stuff that I want to express, I've kind of found myself and found my niche where I fit in mm. through this podcast, and I've gained confidence. Like before, I don't think 
I, I could sit up here and like just talk. Word. Right? Because I, I, you know, um, before we start, I would say, yo, don't, don't press the button. It yeah. gives me anxiety. Because <laughs> like before, like, I'm going to be honest. I thought you were joking though. Can I be completely honest yeah. with you? I, I still don't feel 100% comfortable in this podcast. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Damn, bro. But you're so, you're so natural with it. Because I feel like I can put on that, yeah. you know? The only times I've really felt 100% comfortable yeah. was our first episode that we didn't release mm. and the first one we released. Cause it was me just having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's like we have more of an audience. It's like I gotta. I, I don't know why, but it's like I, if I don't pull views, I'm gonna feel bad. Nah, bro. Yeah. Nah, I don't think you never think about it like that. Cause listen, mm -hmm. you just want to make the content you want to make. Yeah. I say I say this to every single creative, every single artist, anybody that wants to do something in this industry. Mm -hmm. Do exactly what you want to make. For example, Sasha asked me like, oh, um. I, I, I got a I got a post I got a post on on my account because people are starting to look at my art right yeah it's like uh what should I what should I post she's asked me what yeah. I should what she should make for her art yeah I told her straight up don't it's your art you're the artist mm -hmm. do what you want to do don't let anybody else influence your art yeah. you know I me mean? mm -hmm. and that's so important because like look you have an audience sure yeah you have under they if they're true supporters, mm -hmm. they're gonna support you through no matter what you do. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? And that's what I learned. You can get into different things and if they really truly support you, then they'll love you for that. Yeah. Right? Because um there was one episode when I had the brown hoodie over my thing. Yeah, yeah. And that was a time where we were pulling so many views. We were like almost every video is viral, mm -hmm. right? Because of the theories. Yeah, yeah. Right? And um I tried to act like you. Mm. And, and my dad told me he's like Yo, Gavin, that wasn't that wasn't a good episode. I was like, why? I was like, no, because you're trying to act like Carlos. You're trying to. The reason why he has you on the podcast is because you're on your yeah, your because own, you're your you. That's why, yeah. fam. That's why. Exactly. I don't I don't do it because I want you to be a certain person. I exactly. have you because of you. And that's the biggest thing I had to learn because I, I I like thank you to all the people that tune in to watch me because like you know it, it's it feels good. Mm -hmm. Just be, try like just being myself. So fam, you know this too, bro. You know this like but you know I have you, doubts. You, you shouldn't doubt yourself though, because yeah. what what's really holding you back? You know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing, What's holding you back? Honest. I just got caught up in the numbers. I think that's what it happened. Never look at the numbers, bro. Mm -hmm. Even it. Look, look, look. Think about it like this. We're still growing no matter what. Yeah. We're still growing no matter what. We had zero subscribers before. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. So we still grew from zero. So you, you, you look at it, you look at it like, man, it's not as fast. It's not as fast. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Don't get caught up in that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Never get caught up in that shit, especially when it comes to other things you're doing. Let's say you're clothing man, for example. Yeah. Sure, people blow up fast, right? Mm -hmm. For example, everybody says, oh, Billie Eilish is only 17 years old. Yeah. And she she became like doing crazy superstar things. at yeah. 17. Mm -hmm. And look at her now, she's even bigger. But sure, that's good for her, Yeah. right? Everyone has their own. Life. Everybody has their own journey. Mm -hmm. Shit, look at Gary Vee. Gary Vee went how many how many years? I think he was he was in like his late thirties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he blew up. Feel yeah, me? Yeah, I know. And then he blew up. You never know what time is your chance, exactly. and you never know when is your time. Like it will come to you, yeah. but it will come to you. Just believe in that. So social media also does that. Like is really bad for that too, because you see so much. Um, you know, Baby Santana. He's yeah, a yeah. fourteen year old rapper mm -hmm. that he was already on Rolling Wait, he's Loud. Fourteen years old. Yeah. Oh he, shit! He, I didn't know that. Te Tekka <laughs> brought him on to Rolling Loud stage. That's sick. Perform, you know, and and like. To the, all the SoundCloud rappers that are all have been doing this for so long, like keep at it, you know, mm -hmm. like that. That's one advice I could give you. Just keep at it because you never know. Yeah, what could hit. Yeah, see, the, there's there's a side to to finding a strategy at the same time as being yourself, because mm -hmm. there is a balance. Yeah, there the hundred percent is a balance where you do have to sacrifice some of your personal yeah. for some of the gain. Okay, yeah. like let's say, let's say you want to do a certain like activity, film it, whatever. Right, yeah. you want to get into a certain niche. And it might not pull as much. Yeah. But if you really want to do that and you have fun doing it, mm -hmm. then just get better at it so you can pull that number. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But don't let it discourage you from at least trying. Yeah. Do you know, um, you know, I show speed and Aiden Ross. Yeah. 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 So Aiden Ross was talking to speed and he said, cause speed is blowing up crazy. Mm -hmm. Right. And Aiden wants him to be in the LA house. Word. And you know, LA is when you make that type of money, right? Yeah. LA is known for like being fake and shit like that. Right. Mm -hmm. But Aiden told speed straight up the amount of money you make in LA will for generations will help your family. Like it's going to be good money. Mm -hmm. Right. But you have to sacrifice your mental health for it. Yeah. That and, makes and sense, it's, bro. It's scary. Cause it's like, is that selling your soul? I think that's what they mean, bro. I think is that's that what, what they you mean. mean. Yeah. Cause, cause everyone that goes to LA kind of has to go through so many snakes and shit like that. Right. They go through the, in 
they make sacrifices they wouldn't they lose themselves yeah yeah they lose themselves to be a certain thing exactly and then they fall into like shit exactly exactly as it's as it's stated selling your soul to the devil as in selling your soul selling yourself to get all of these riches for what at the end of the day at the end of the day shit what are you happy with? what are you content with are you because because that's where it gets twisted listen listen yeah. nah. that's where it gets so twisted mm -hmm. because you can you can say okay i'm gonna sell my soul whatever get all these riches but where does it stop i don't know when you die fam where does it stop you know what i mean yeah think about it think about it you're gonna go out there you're gonna in, grind you're gonna grind so sell, quote unquote sell your soul yeah but where does it stop bro you get more hungrier yeah that is scary that's the thing and, and after i seen that i was like Fuck, man do i do you want to go <laughs> <laughs> now what's the, what's the <laughs> go I, what's the, I, I, we won't be there for long <laughs> <laughs> we'll be that's right, a, we'll that's be the right thing, bro. that's the thing because because i am quote unquote like i'm i'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to hone in my spirituality yeah you know I mean? mm -hmm. like i don't I don't want to be stuck onto greed, like greed, materialism, mm -hmm. just capitalism in general. Yeah. As much as it it's needed to to succeed. Yeah. Especially like, bro, that's the only way you can succeed is if if you play by these rules. Yeah. Right. But what is the end goal? Is the end goal to make a million dollars? Is the end goal to make enough so you can do a trip that will make you happy at that trip? Yeah. I mean, because what is your passion? Let's say your passion is, I want to go climb the himalayas yeah. feel me yeah. you don't have enough money to go to the himalayas okay i'm gonna grind get this money sell and my soul for go. that yeah. then go that's an end goal right mm -hmm. but if your if your end goal is for materialism for money yeah money never stops it doesn't money never stops so you're just gonna keep going you can keep going you can keep going and as that goes down mental health mental yeah. health i mean your soul gets crushed. exactly and then you're gonna start doing things that you wouldn't you lose yourself in the sauce and you right? end up and like when you die fam the money doesn't come with you yeah you feel me and you just lived your life money hungry the whole time. Mm -hmm. that, that's so that. If I was on my deathbed and I realized that shit, I would, oh my God. Yeah. I'd be so sad. I know, bro. <laughs> <It> smokes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, this, it's, it's deep, bro. Cause like. Super deep, fam. Cause everybody's gonna die. Yeah. I, like at one point, we're all gonna, we're all gonna be in a, in a casket. We're all gonna get cremated. We're all gonna be dust at one point. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, what's so important is I just want to leave a legacy. I just want to leave yeah. memories. That's it. I was going to say, what's your end goal of this whole shit? My, my end goal still has success, still has mm -hmm. wealth, money, whatever. Yeah. But I don't make it the catalyst. Of what you do. Of what I do. I don't make it the catalyst of like, it has to go this way so I can make a certain dollar amount. So yeah. I can buy a certain thing. So I can buy a Lambo. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't make it for that. I do it. So it gives me freedom in what I need to do later. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's say, let's say, I say later on, I want to go build a church. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Later on, I want to go make a house for my family, you know? Yeah. Pay off debt, anything. Anybody needs help, I can, I can cover it. If yeah. I want to go travel the world, I have that. But I don't look at it like I need a Lambo. I need like money in my bank. I need to buy this jewelry, whatever. Mm -hmm. Cause that's where you get lost, and then I know it doesn't end like that. And it's funny too, cause like when I started the clothing shit, yeah, I was way more hungrier than I am now. Why? Right? Because Why? It, it's like it's like I got too comfortable. Like um, like when you're grinding, you know, mm -hmm. you, you up 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 late trying to put this design out, trying to design this, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like I got a bit comfortable where it's like, I, and I don't have no motivation to do it no more. Why, bro? I don't know. Cause it's like I don't know. It's like I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, but at the same time, so I you're didn't. not shooting big enough. I'm, I don't think I'm shooting big enough, bro. You're not shooting big enough, fam. Because yeah. listen, listen. If 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 you keep your goal small, yeah. you're only gonna land small. Yeah. You have to shoot for the fucking stars, bro. Yeah. You know, like you gotta look at. I'm gonna be on the same level as Con. I got. I'm gonna be on the same level as fucking Virgil. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta think about like that. You can't think about it. I'm gonna be like who's who's one of the smallest shooter brands. Ian Connor, I'm gonna be like Ian Connor. Yeah. Shit, he's huge. Yeah. He's huge. But don't get me wrong, he's not that impactful as a Kanye, as a Virgil Abel, as Junior Watanabe. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'm no no discredit to them, but you know, yeah. Like you can shoot way bigger. And I feel like when you shoot even higher than that, mm -hmm. then that's when the real fucking you get stated in history. Yeah. See, that's why that's why I love this podcast, bro. Cause it, I feel like I'm telling you it. Like I feel like we're meant to be friends. 
Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like, um, what do you call this? Because at the same time with this podcast, you just helped me build this platform. Mm -hmm. Right? Because before, like, I wouldn't do the TikTok stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I want to do the TikTok. But with this podcast, like you've you've helped people notice me mm -hmm. and notice my brand. I don't think I say it enough, but I appreciate you. Fam. I got you, bro. That's, that's what I'm here for. Fam. That's what I'm here I for. I appreciate you. I'm putting everybody I can on and mm -hmm. the, the people that stuck around for me, mm -hmm. the people that I know are there for me. Yeah. I'm going to return the love because I know in the future I want them to just be there with me. At yeah. the end of the at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can celebrate together. And that's real. If you fucking if you make it big and then you're yeah. by yourself, what is it worth? Exactly. It's like you, well, what you said to me before we were on that train ride. You said um when you're when you're out, out the way at the top, you start losing some friends. And and I feel like that's true because um when you when you're leveling up so much mm -hmm. and your friends don't level up with you, mm -hmm. you, like you can't you can't associate with them no more, bro. And yeah, it, it's, it's tough. that that's it's tough. that's the most fucked up part about this whole thing. Cause if it's like if I don't level up with you, fam, I feel like I'm gonna get left in the future, maybe near future. I don't want to jinx it, like knock on wood. Mm -hmm. Like I'm always gonna be with you type shit, but like I might get left, bro. You gotta think about it like this, right? As much as it is a team thing. Yeah. Okay, I think it was Aiden Ross recently. Yeah. They were gonna do a SSB. Oh, SSB house. house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he said like that shit all collapsed because they had beef in there. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened, all the drama. Yeah. And all of that shit got shut down. Yeah. But I think it was Ray called him, like on on live stream, on live. and he was like, "Bro, you gotta understand that although people you want to help everybody, yeah. although you're the big." You're the big cheese. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody has to pull their own weight and everybody has to grind as hard as, as them. Hard as, yeah. As hard as them. Because it's never, it's never like, if you want to make it a team thing, then it's a team thing. We're going to make it there as a team. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But if it comes to the point where, shit, you can't pull your own weight or people aren't pulling their own weight, then yeah, there's going to be a decline. There's going to be a change. Yeah. But you have to be, you have to be wary of it. You have to be conscious of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't just sit back yeah like you, i'm comfortable exactly you know I mean? exactly like, nah carlos got this exactly you're right you can't, you can't yeah. bro you can't because look look look. let's see let's say you're part of drake's posse you know what i mean yeah. shit he, he's gonna be there forever he's bringing his whole team with him imagine instead of just drake it was five drakes imagine it was team like that yeah imagine it was the fucking avengers that would be unstoppable bro exactly you know what I mean? and i feel like we've yet to see something like that because people get lost with a few certain things. And I read this in a book. Mm -hmm. There's a few things that make a lot of people fall off with their friends, with success, success. with business. Mm -hmm. It always comes down to three things. Okay. Addiction, jealousy, and a change of mind. Okay. And think I, about I, it. I get the jealousy and the... Well, what do you mean by addiction? Addiction. So let's say... So I used to watch all the documentaries okay. of fucking the rock and roll bands, bro. Okay. ACDC, mm. Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses, all of those, right? They have a very common theme. A lot of them have a common theme. Yeah. Is they all fell off because of addiction or because of jealousy or because of they didn't want to do it and their heart wasn't in it anymore. Yeah. So I feel like those are the things you have to be wary, especially when you're coming into an industry like this, when you have a team with you, when you have people around you, you have to keep an eye on. Yeah is keep wary for those things. Yeah. Because those are the things that will will be L to the goal. Mm -hmm. I mean, what yeah. is our goal we want to make at the top? Let's say somebody falls into addiction, they're holding the whole team down. Yeah. Then shit, it's going to crumble. Eventually, it's going to crumble. Yeah. Somebody has a change of mind, it's, whether it be good or bad, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But shit, it will take a piece out of the puzzle because it is like a building block. It is, yeah. And then that's where... That's where a lot of people get independent too. Yeah, I mean, one hundred percent. And as much as as much as jumpers jump is a is a team thing. Yeah, shit. I make sure I'm independent too. Yeah, feel me. It's like um, it's like One Direction. Mm -hmm. You know when they split up. Yeah, they all went on to their separate paths, and it's kind of cool to see where they went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's like coming out of high school, fam. It's like you. It, it's cool, kind of cool seeing all the routes people take. Mm -hmm, like yeah. so some people blow up. Mm -hmm. Some people drop out of school. Some people are getting married in yeah. a year, right? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of cool seeing all the 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 shit that's happening. It's, it's like the end of the movie. You know when the fucking oh, <laughs> and Coach Carter. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you have a freeze frame? Yeah. <laughs> like he went out to do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that shit. It's like that shit. Yeah. No. And, and as as cheesy as that is, as cheesy as like the movies make it seem to be, it's real. It's kind of real, to it's be real honest. Life. It is kind of like that. Mm -hmm. 
And shit, they don't just make movies out of nowhere. Like they have inspiration from it. And sometimes it's from true events. Yeah. And a lot of things in movies happen in real life too. Yeah. No? And and, and I'm going to be completely honest with you again. Mm-hmm. So remember at the beginning when we started? Yeah. There was a, there was a point where um I did all the episodes, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you started bringing on a guest. Mm-hmm. Right? Fam, no, not going to lie. When when you brought on the first couple guests, yeah. I, I was kind of like off. Mm. I was like, damn. Am I getting replaced? Is this it? Nah, fam. But you, you understood after. I understood. Yeah. As as it came more, it's like, no, I, I know where I stand. Mm-hmm. You know? Because look, look, this was my whole part of, this is my whole idea and thinking behind it. Mm-hmm. I will never let jumpers jump fall off. Uh, yeah. I will never let that happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, and shit, you did have, you did have like, um school. You're still in school. Yeah. I school. And I knew I'm going to be hundred percent. I dropped out. I fucking, yeah, yeah. I'm full time. I'm going to make this my thing like i'm going to i'm going to bring it there yeah. to that level and shit as being that person to bring it to that level you got to you got to call those shots where okay let's say something happens mm-hmm. cuz nobody wants to think about what if something happened yeah nobody wants to think about that mm-hmm. but those are the people that are prepared and those are the people that thought it through those are the strategic people yeah. that will make it to the top because they thought of those things cuz look imagine me and you did 100 episodes 100 in, episodes and then and all of a sudden, I bring on a guest. Yeah. Then it's going to be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. You know? Because like, where's Gavin? Exactly. You know? Exactly. But I think we did it. I th- That's why I was like, everything that happened was mm-hmm. supposed to happen. Exactly. Because that day, I had a meeting. Yeah, you're busy. That's why. I was busy. You're and, busy. And you called me. What the Gavin? What the fuck? Where are you, fam? <laughs> right? I'm like, fam, I have a meeting. He's like, you can't do that shit. Yeah. And, that's the, and I knew you were a real friend because mm-hmm. friends usually don't. Friends... I don't know. What. I was. I wasn't gonna lie to you. You, you wasn't gonna lie to yeah. me. You told me straight up. He's like, I'm getting another person then, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, do it. Yeah. Right. And then I, I was like, okay, but I, as um, you kind of kept it where it's like people still enjoy me, mm-hmm. but they give another side where it's a, a new guest every week. Exactly. Yeah. And I yeah, started yeah. to understand that. I'm like, no, this is still, you know, I'm still the co main host, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Exactly. Because look, look, if we made it, it was just us all the time, and then shit, I don't want to see that day where it's like. It's not the same. Yeah. That's, that would break my heart, bro. Mm. That would break my heart. And then, cause I'm here forever. Like I'm, this is going to be my shit. Like yeah. till the end of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't want it to ever have that nick in it. Yeah. And fall off. Yeah, exactly. I'm never letting that happen, bro. And here, here's another thing. Cause I got a different perspective. Cause me and my friends were going to start a podcast too. Mm-hmm. Moment I got to their house. Yeah. It was like, uh, I just got these like these bootleg headphones, right? Mm-hmm. And the, the setup was not there. And I was like, "Yo, guys, what 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 are your goals of this podcast? Are we gonna go a hundred percent?" They're like, uh, well, "Let's just do this, you know, and see where it goes." But mm-hmm. when when the next day when I came to shoot with you, mm-hmm. everything set up. I know we know our goal, mm-hmm. right? And it was kind of cool seeing because whatever we do, we do one hundred ten percent. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. But but with them, it's like. I don't know. Not to roast them, obviously, but yeah, like yeah. they didn't have the same drive or like aspiration and passion that we have in this one. Mm-hmm. And that's I can say that I'm proud to be on this podcast. Yeah, because I make sure I make sure that's I make sure everybody around me has that. Yeah. If if you don't have that, you're not gonna be with me. Exactly. You know what I mean, yeah. I make sure like that's that's like the cut. That's like the trial. Like if you don't have that part of you, mm-hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to be associated. Yeah. Because that that type of that type of energy that brings you down. Mm-hmm. It's gonna slow you down, and that's exactly why people follow change of mind. Oh, that's what it means. Change I was of mind. See, change of mind. So that was one of the three, right? Yeah. A change of mind. That's why you see a lot of people. They're so passionate in the beginning. Yeah. A change of mind because oh fuck, maybe I don't like this. Maybe yeah. I want to do something else. Mm-hmm. Whether it be good or bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whether it be good or bad, because shit, maybe they wanted to do something that was way better for them. Yeah. Right? Which is which is dope. Which is dope. Mm-hmm. But that is one of the things you have to be wary of. Yeah. That's why I read so much books. I really like. I, know. I really like diving into like I know. shit. Cause this is some real stuff, bro. It is. It is. It's some bro. real stuff, and you can take it into basketball. You yeah. can take it into so many different sectors of life, yeah. and business, everything. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, and, and just going back to this, how this whole podcast started, type thing. Uh, I think it was. Um, I don't know if you know this, but before I shoot with you, yeah, the day before I run my own podcast, like I talk to myself. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, and and there was a point in time where. Where it was exhausting and I did it. I started not to like this podcast. Really? Because it felt like like homework. Ah, uh, no, nah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. But but because uh, I was I was plotting it out. I would say it. I would like 
this is a, a good bit. This uh, TikTok mm. will go viral. But the more I did that, I felt horrible. Yeah, you don't you, know? you don't want to do that, bro. But then, but then obviously I changed and, and people love that. Like, yeah. Just talking, <laughs> you know? But yeah, that that this whole thing has just taught me so much lessons, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and it's pretty cool. Cause how, just always be yourself, fam. That's why I always one of the biggest lessons that I always try and tell you. Yeah. How many times have I said this to you? Like, make sure you know yourself. All the time. I tell you, I say that to you, like, <laughs> almost every time we have a deep combo. Every single time. Because I know that's something you need to work on. It's just always yeah. know yourself, bro. Yeah. I know you. Mm-hmm. But do you know you? Yeah. That's you know what I mean? 4 a.m. Random text. Do you know you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll rethink on my own. I'll wake up. I'll wake up to that text back. Fuck, man. <laughs> But yeah, holy yeah bro because you have that in you have the drive you have everything all the tools necessary to do great things bro you just have to remember who you are yeah and don't fall into things that people drag you in because you think it's cool you think oh people are doing it like this i gotta do it yeah, nah, yeah. bro do you yeah no and, and it's a, it's that that little um phase in my life where where it's gonna happen yeah that and happens I'm, though that's growing yeah, that's, bro that's, that's growing that's how you know you're growing you mm-hmm. know if you didn't go through that then you didn't grow exactly yeah. <laughs> you know pain fam you just got to put in the pain and then you'll be all right yeah well, what, what's that thing <laughs> people get shot every day y'all be all right <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 my favorite quote. oh my god <laughs> you you know how people always say like fucking you're gonna have a midlife crisis and shit. Oh, yo, did you see the um the lady at the Kodak Black uh, Rolling Loud? Oh yeah, yeah. Who, who's singing all the things? They were mm. like, "Yo, she's having a midlife crisis." <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Skirt, skirt," <laughs> and she was with all the young people. But it was just like that one old person. Yo, but that's lit though. I, it is. I love I love seeing like the old people get into the new stuff. Hell yeah! Because it's like, yo, because we we don't take in like our parents were crazy before too yes fam i have so many stories of my, like them doing crazy shit that yeah way more exciting than my life yeah even though they're old they still had a past exactly, exactly. <laughs> they still had a past bro have you ever just sat down with like your parents and just like yo wh- wh- what were you like when when you were my age yeah i, I had that once in a while but i don't i don't want to get too deep i want to keep it a mystery okay so i i, I unravel it a little bit here yeah, and there yeah, yeah. But i never want to go all the way in because yeah, yeah. I, I like keeping it a mystery that's for true. Myself. i mean with your lola every time it's like every episode we have a ghost it's always lola <laughs> no because my my lola she she's literally <laughs> Damn, i'm telling you bro my my lola and that side of the family there's just some spiritual shit going on yeah. bro and what's funny is my dad's side is nothing like that <laughs> my my dad's side is nothing like there's a complete opposite yeah, like yeah. we don't believe in any of that ghost yeah. right <laughs> yo so i have this story right yeah so my uncle they actually okay he had a ghost he had like a paranormal event happen at the crib holy smoke so he said the neighbors yeah the house they live beside the woman passed away okay and before like um her husband passed away right yeah and on the same day where they found the body and they like went into the house and found them yeah the same night my uncle's son my cousin my little cousin yeah went to the window and was like who who is that pointing at the window bro (laughs) pointing at the back window like who's that who's that right now here's what's funny though Uh because my uncle he's never like he never believes in ghosts or he yeah, never yeah. like fucks with ghosts. He, he said this himself. <laughs> said one time he was having sleep paralysis and he saw like a demon trying to atta- attack him. Really? Yeah, he saw a demon trying to attack but him. But he was chilling. That's what he said, bro. He's like, I told that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> he, said, he said, I told the demon, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, yo, my yo, fam, fam, my tita, my tita yeah. he was like, I was getting scared because in his dream he was like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> oh, you, see, you look beside him, <laughs> he's like throwing jabs, <laughs> and then you know what he told me? What? He told me if if a ghost ever comes and kills me, yeah. I'm gonna go into their world and kill them. <laughs> oh my god! So he's he's firm on I <laughs> f- the ghost shit. Yeah. That shit don't exist. He's not going out by a ghost. Yeah, you know me. All right, time out. Here's a word from our sponsor, Upstart. If you dread looking at your credit card statements, you're not alone. Debt can feel crippling, but Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. All right, so Upstart is a fast and easy way to pay off any of your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding 
personal expenses. Over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. And Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate on your loan. And with a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash jump, J-U-M-P. That's upstart.com slash jump. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and other certain information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash jump. The link will be down low in the description. Make sure to click it. And it's, it's jokes because that's I see I see both sides of my family. Do yeah. you see that too? What? Like in your personality, where you see like your mom tendencies of your mom's side, tendencies of your dad's side. Not really, because we all believe in that ghost. No, no, I mean just like in a, just like in mannerisms, oh, or just oh, yeah. like personality, okay. personality yeah, traits, personality yeah, yeah, traits, yeah, yeah. right? One hundred percent. Because I feel like my dad is very brash, but my mom is very like calculated. Yeah. Well, my dad's very calculated too, but I don't know. My mom's already talking to him. My dad's more like okay, yeah, a little yeah. bit lone wolf. Yeah. And I see both sides of that in mm. myself. You see that? Like yeah. with your parents? Yeah, bro. How, how, how's your dad? How's your dad? My dad is like, he's more chill. Mm -hmm. And my mom is more strict. Mm. Just to put it in plain sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a good mix. Cause what all, what all would you know, just like interactions? Interactions? What do you mean? It's like when talking to people or like going out. I don't <laughs> my, know. My, no, my dad 100% can can have a really good convo with you, right? Yeah. And but it's funny because um, whenever my friends come over. Yeah. So so my mom, right, mm -hmm. was walking to the door. And then me me and my friends came to the door, sprinted away. <laughs> <laughs> She's scared? Why? She scared? I don't know. I don't know. But I think she just doesn't like that type of interaction with me and my friends. Cause oh, like, okay. Well, what do I say type thing? True, true. You know? <laughs> well, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> my, I think my mom is more talkative. My but dad's more talkative. Actually, yo, I don't know, cause my dad's talkative too, but he he doesn't he doesn't like people. <laughs> really? <laughs> my, my, actually, I don't know. Because my mom's talkative when they're gossiping about like you know the Filipino shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like with a regular person, it, it's cool, you know. I don't know. Me, I definitely take after both. Yeah, but, I, but, I definitely too. But but it's fun to see like traits of the family. Oh yeah, and just even like sides of the family because yeah. I do see a difference in sides of the family. Yeah. Like my dad's side is very like, yo, we don't play around. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. And then mom's side's a little bit more soft. More fun. Yeah. Yeah. Even um, what do you call this with the with the COVID stuff? Mm -hmm. So they're more, they're a lot more uh, what because they watch the news all the time, yeah, right? Yeah. There's get the vaccine, get the vaccine, mm -hmm. right? But me, <laughs> but not not saying I I got the vaccine, right? Yeah. But me, it's like I want to do my research first before I get it. When, and I feel like if if I if I turn down my second vaccine mm -hmm. because it was different, they would definitely get pissed at me. Mm. Wait, did you get the second? Yeah, I got the second one. But it was But different? it was both Pfizer. Okay, I made yeah, sure yeah. to get both Pfizer. Oh, I put you on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I gave you the pop up location. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. I got so hyped because the day after yeah. would have been my Moderna. Yeah. Yo, you want to hear a theory, fam? Okay, yeah, tell me. <laughs> That's so random. No, because I, I, I just had this in the back of my head. I was okay, always yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever wonder like, what you know the Truman Show? So his whole life yeah. is like a TV show, and he didn't know he was in a TV show. Okay. So his his wife, his plan, all the people around him, his work—it's all a show. There's cameras, mm -hmm. there's lights. The the sky is falling down. Yeah, like it's everything's a prop. But he didn't know. He thought it's a reality. <laughs> what? So you, do you ever have those moments where like my life is a movie? <laughs> nah, not just like your good life is a movie. But yo, what if this is? What if what if this is just all? A show. A show. All just like planned. And this is just for somebody else's entertainment. Like someone's watching us? Yeah, somebody is watching. <laughs> Low key, man. I don't know. I feel like there's there's been instances where um there would there would be a motive, right? Yeah. If the there was a red light, yeah. I would be late to it and I would miss it. Mm. But there's times where it's like, oh shit, the the earth has given me You all, just made it all the green lights yeah. to make the event so mm -hmm. it was meant to be yeah 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 you know that, that's kind of what i mean too because like you know when spectacular shit happens to you exactly yeah and they're like whoa that's interesting yeah like, this was a sign of god or something you know what i mean yeah yeah do you so, have those instances yeah th those times i always think about myself like damn what if what if this is just for, okay for example logan paul he, when yeah. he when he fought floyd mayweather he's like this is all a simulation yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way i'm fighting floyd mayweather exactly, you know? exactly bro oh my god <laughs> Actually, if i was in his shoes i would probably think like that too i'm like yeah. damn is this real life yeah you know and then yo so there's this theory i heard yeah it's about um jimmy neutron okay yo so there's a theory that jimmy neutron and the whole town 
is actually just a government experiment to see what Jimmy comes up with, oh. what kind of inventions yeah. or like things he comes up with to help better science. Mm. So if you think about it, yeah. all the people of the town, they're never so like fucking scared of their inventions. They're never like, yeah. like he'll call bring, the cops. He'll bring a never. laser gun out and no one will say anything. Exactly, you know I mean? <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. And the, the, the parents are chill with it. Yeah. The parents are chill. They're just cooling. That's true. And yo, so that theory goes, everything there, everything that he creates, the government sees it and it's kind of like a testing ground. So it's like, okay, fuck, he, he made that? Yeah. Maybe we can use that in the next war. Oh, like Maybe the lasers use and it stuff to like cure that. people with this, right? Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a testing ground. But he would never know because <laughs> it just feels like his regular life. Yeah, yeah. That's cool too. You can flip it on like a cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, yeah. How his shit is just all, just went all bad. Because <laughs> why you, because the government's watching you make it rain fucking burgers from the sky and shit. <laughs> That's like the bootleg one. But no, since, since we're on a cartoon uh, theories, you, yeah. you heard of the, the Mr. Mime is Ash's dad theory? Mr. Mime? What the f***? Is Ash's dad. How? Okay, so, how? You, so, so you know how um Ash doesn't age at all throughout the whole Pokemon series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And Pokemon are not... They're, they're not, they don't age either. Yeah. Right? So, he, so Ash is supposed to be a hybrid of human and Pokemon. Oh, what the f***? And this is the crazy thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, his mom... And Mr. Mime were caught in a scene on vacation, like an old what? elderly couple on vacation. No way. Yeah. For real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Ash, Ash is Mr. Mime and his mom is human. You feel me? Yo, I'm the Pokemon man. I yeah. should know this. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised you haven't told one because this is the, probably the funniest one I ever read. <laughs> You know, that's that's quite interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah, but but that reminds me of the the Rick and Morty one. Oh, what Rick and Morty one? Remember when they were like, uh, they got monsters and Rick was like fucking a whole lot of monsters, and they like, oh they yeah, re they reproduce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, it, it, do you think do you think humans can like mate with? No, nah, we're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna talk about but that. yeah, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. We're not yeah, talking yeah. about that. But yeah, I got that's dark. I, yeah, that's <laughs> the, the moment you said that out of your mouth, is we're thick. not even talking about that. But yeah. I, I I got into um what do you call this anime too? Oh yeah, what you been yeah, watching? The Spirited Away, fam. Oh Loki, Loki, that shit was, I don't know, it was so hype to me, and then I felt like the whole time. Oh, did was, you like it? It was it was okay. I I would give it a seven out of ten. When okay, but okay. but they hyped it up because I thought I was gonna cry. Yeah, and I was waiting for that moment to cry. Word, <laughs> but it never came. Word, for me. Fam, I, I appreciate the art of it. I yeah. appreciate like the contemporary art of it. But it was really good. Yeah. Very creative. But Spirited Away, fam. Yeah. That's just a fever dream, bro. Yeah. That's just I a know. straight fever dream. Yeah, Me and my sister watch it for the first time. Yeah. Like, yo, you remember this in your nightmare? <laughs> Real sick. Like that ass, sludge, that's what it feels like. The sludge guy and, and the no face guy. Yeah, that's some shit you see in your, your um like nightmares. Yeah, and you know how when you have those dreams and it's mm -hmm. always like you gotta go do something. What? You know what I mean? And that's just that's exactly like Spirited Away, where she had something to do. She had to save her parents. Yeah, and she had to go to all these different crazy people. Yeah, that's exactly a fever dream, bro. Exactly. I swear. Exactly, bro. And there, there's a crazy theory of Spirited Away teaches about prostitution. Wait, why? Yeah. So so. Uh, you know the girl, right? Yeah, So yeah. The, the main thing is that they have a bathhouse. Where? And they introduce guests, right? Mm -hmm. So on the bathhouse, there's a sign that says, Why you? Really? Right? Yeah, which, yeah. which means hot water. And, mm -hmm. and in that era, the Japanese men go into these bathhouses to, to meet girls named Yuna, which means hot water girls. Oh, like prostitutes? And these girls were prostitutes. Oh, shit. And also, the little girl signed a contract yeah. where she had to change her name from Chichiro or something to Sen. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She had and, to change her name, like pick one. Yeah, and this is what prostitutes do so they so nobody finds out who they really are. Oh, shit. And here's the crazy thing. Yeah. No face was a pedophile. Oh, yo. Yeah. That's why she, he was like following her. And wanted to give her money. He wanted to buy her. Yo. Fam, what, it's crazy. That actually makes sense, bro. It does, it does. And I realized that the director is really cool because he likes to give these... um these topics about what's actually happening in the world in his movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and prostitution was one of them. Yeah. You know? Yo, even in um the recent Black Widow. Yeah. That was kind of a metaphor for all the human trafficking going on. Right? Yeah. Because if you bag it, like all of, all of the, the, the women that were in that Black Widow program, they were just taken as kids from their families. Yeah. Just grown up to be assassins. Mm -hmm. And yo, that's that type of stuff 
not not being assassins, but that type of stuff with human trafficking, that's real. Yeah, fam. That the, happens. There, there's another theory where the casino girls yeah. are actually girls that got human traffic. Word. Because you, you see them, fam, the, half of them can't keep their eyes open. Yeah. You know, the, you have people passing out literally at tables. Damn, bro. There was a guy on Twitch where um he was doing the, the blackjack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this girl literally sat the car down, but once she put the car down, she fainted. Oh, shit. It was crazy. Damn. Yeah. Yo, if you want to if you want to watch a good anime movie, mm -hmm. do you want to cry or do you want to like? I want to feel something. Like, you want to feel emotion? Emotion, some type of emotion. I have some. I have some good recommendations for you then. Silent Voice was good. That actually made me cry. Silent Voice was sad. <sighs> Silent so Voice was sad. sad. Watch um. You watch. You watch your name. Have you watched that? No. Your name? Yeah. That, people told me about your name. That movie, fam. Yeah. That's my favorite animated movie ever. Okay. I'm gonna have to watch that's, that. Then. I think, in my opinion, that's a goaded, like, that's the greatest ever. Yeah. Just like the storyline, the music, everything about it, the animation. Perfect. Perfect. 10 okay. out of 10. Okay. How long is it? Like two hours? I think, I think it's like an hour and a bit. Something bet, like that. Yeah. yeah. But yo, what's crazy is that, that movie lost in the Oscars. They didn't, they didn't even get nominated for freaking what? Best Picture. And I feel like a lot of, a lot of the anime movies never even make it to the Oscars. Yeah. Cause anime is like, they, I, it's, I feel like they don't take it seriously. They in don't, the right? In the movie biz. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why, bro. But, but half like the silent voice and Spirited Away is better than half of these contemporary movies. Yeah. I, I could say. Yeah. Even just like compared to, uh, I don't want to say Toy Story because Toy Story was amazing. Yeah. But like even just other stuff like freaking the Lorax, like, oh, you know, the yeah, bro. like stuff like that, like the kids movies. Yeah. Shit. There's some really, really, really good anime movies that yeah. should be in that category of animated films 100 percent. we don't see it though we don't see it exactly but yeah go going back i guess to the the human trafficking thing yeah you, you know the 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 mukbanger katie yup okay nah the, the, you never seen that one when she's she's literally it shows half of her face and she's blindfolded and she's eating like crazy. oh no that's that's the one where um people were like yo is she okay yeah yeah and then exactly. she was, she's trying to do like morse code right yeah yeah yeah. she's trying to do morse code through the through the images Images. oh my god no no not just the images but she would have sentences pop up on the screen and, and then, then like the letters the right letters are, ca are capitalized that spelled out help or something yeah crazy that's crazy bro. like that and and like there were bruises on her arms, but like we never really found out what happened to her. Like like do you know what happened to her? I don't know. Like she just stopped eating or some shit like it's that. Fucked, bro. Yeah. It, I really hope everything's okay. Everything's I, okay. Because I I think I think she did come out and say something like, "Oh, everything is go is yeah, good." Okay, good. But like we don't know if that was somebody else that said that. Exactly. You never know. Right. And it's like there's always whispers of the guy like eat more. And that shit's I so know, scary. I know, that's scary, bro. At that point, it's like not even theory no more. Like there's a guy telling him to eat. That's uh, Like, come on, bro. That's, that's so scary. Nah, bro. And then what, what scares me the most is just like, <sighs> there's evil people like that that 100%. are always looking for victims. Yeah. I mean, and that's why I really, you know how your, your parents always say like, Stay away from strangers. Yeah. Stay away from those sketchy people. Mm -hmm. That's like the number one. That's you're the number up. one thing. But I feel like people still do that, which is which is bad. Like, yeah, you see sketchy people, but you give their your trust time them, of the day. Yeah, never, bro, mm -hmm. never. That's why, like, I always train my sister. Oh, see, I was gonna bring up the sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always train my sister. Like, make sure you know exactly people's intentions. Yeah, that's why I read a lot of these books, bro. Mm -hmm. All these like powers of the mind. I mean, yeah. Because people try to take advantage of you, and then once people take advantage of you, something terrible happens, and that's always how it ends up. That's that's like probably the realest. That's a good brother thing to do. Because mm -hmm. like I'm scared for like my sister all the time too. Because like even uh when we were driving, it was me and my older cousin, and yeah. she's a she's a girl, and and there's these two guys that come up right that pull pull the window down. Hey, you're so sexy. You're so sexy, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm in the car like. Yo, like this th actually goes on yeah. on a regular daily basis. And it's crazy to think that. I know. It's crazy. Because some people, we, we, we're so like, we don't know what to do. Yeah. We don't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. Right. And I feel like a lot of, if you're not educated on that type of shit, yeah. like on those type of street smarts, mm -hmm. what to do, bro, those are the victims. That's why you have to like, shit, they should be, te there should be more street smart lessons like in then just educate in just school and yeah. just school yeah. in our curriculum like it should be that bro because even though it is the parents job some parents don't teach them is, is there <laughs> you should just start a street smart book <laughs> i mean that Yo, would low sell key. low key that, that would, would sell, sell.
Yo, I have the, oh, I don't want to say the okay, idea okay, though. Yeah, yeah. I want to say the idea. <laughs> Wait, yeah, they should. Yeah. They 100%, should, bro. fam. Because I'm telling you, fam, like the 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 cat calling and shit like that is so scary. Because one of my friends, my cousins told me actually, mm-hmm. she was walking downtown and she always keeps like a knife on her. Yeah. Right? But there was a guy looking at her in the car and then she kind of came closer to the car mm. and he, she saw her like, He's beating his meat. What the f- It's crazy. And and she spat on him and, yeah. and ran. Bruh. Like, that's, that's fucking up, disgusting, bro. bro. Like, oh my God. Damn. See, things like that, especially like when people walk up to them. Yeah. That's why I, I teach my sister how to fight. Yeah. That's the most important thing. I feel like everybody should know how to fight, should know bro. how to fight. 100%. Everybody should know how to fight. Because yeah. if you don't know how to fight, you're at a disadvantage. It's already. Already. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's not, it's not like something you can carry around with you. Yeah. It's you. I know. <laughs> it's like a lesson you know. I it's know. like swimming too. So Swimming is good too, but like fighting, I feel like is way more important. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because those type of things like swimming, fighting. Yeah. Even just like working with your hands, how to yeah. how to maneuver things, right? Yeah, that's very that those those type of skills you can bring anywhere with you. It's like survival skills. Yeah, like every single situation, you never know where you're going to use it, mm-hmm. and it's always there. You don't have to like put in your backpack. Exactly, it's nothing like that. L- like again, like if you put me in a forest, fam, I, I couldn't start a fire. <laughs> yo, me, yo. To be honest, to be honest, yeah. I don't even know if I could do that either. Yeah, bro. Like I, I'd have to, I'd have to like prep. You yeah, know what I, mean? I have to prep. I'm stuff. gonna watch every YouTube video before I put on that. Yeah, like, yeah. Forest, you know. I feel you. But like after that, I'll be blessed. Yo, but you know what you should do, bro? What? We should actually do one of those videos. Like we just try to survive. <laughs> no, <laughs> we should find like a survival list that someone wants to take us out with them. Yeah. And like, okay, yo, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a ex- excursion. Yeah. Oh, yo. <laughs> into the wildlife, bro. 10k likes, we go. We we're put in a forest and we just let's survive. do it. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> That would be hilarious, fam. Yo, I feel like we would argue. I, I would always want to do that, though. Yeah, I always want to. That's do hella that. fun. Mm. Bring, bring, bring uh, it's me, you, Josh. That you think you think you would go crazy, bro? I think I if d- I was by myself, I would definitely go crazy. Oh, low 100%. key, low key, fam. If you're stuck in your room for a like, I don't know, for two days straight yeah. with nothing but your thoughts, you're going crazy. Exactly, bro. Right? And you're surrounded by nothing but trees and nothing but no electronics to keep you like busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What else are you gonna think about? Just fam? like looking, um, you know, Castaway when yeah. he had the the volleyball Wilson. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's facts. Because like, yo, you yeah, just quarantine. Yeah, when quarantine. He, when he had quarantine, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be talking to myself. Still. Exactly. <laughs> my, I swear, like when I practice for these podcasts, my mom thought I was crazy. <laughs> like dead ass. Oh my god. I th- I think I think people that talk to themselves though are cool. No, not that. It's like they they're very imaginative. Yeah, and they have like. A lot of a lot of creativity, you know. Yeah, because you don't need fans. Okay, I'll just imagine one. <laughs> Yo, as crazy as it sounds, it is true. You ever had a? Ima- I had one. I had an imaginary. I had one, but like it was just it was just because I watched it in the yeah in, in the cartoon. You know, I'm um, the SpongeBob, uh, the bubble. You know how he had bubble. a bubble friend? Oh yeah, yeah, the, the <laughs> elephant thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I kind of imagined that as my friend. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know. That was. <laughs> but he can Dude, actually try to make one. Don't tell me try to make one. Bro. <laughs> But I did one of these, <laughs> and then in my head it was like an elephant or whatever I wanted. That shit pops like right away too. <laughs> a line that I got sad. Yo, yeah. one of the saddest videos I ever seen, fam. What? It was like this raccoon, and somebody gave the raccoon a piece of cotton candy. Yeah, and, and it died. No, 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 no. So the raccoon had a piece of cotton candy. Yeah, and then it went in water, fam, and that shit like disintegrated in the water. Nah, I was so sad, fam. Holy, because it looked so excited to get the cotton candy, yeah. and then like it, it, it disintegrated, <laughs> and then the <laughs> it dissolved right into the water, fam. And it's like, <laughs> not literally. I'll, I'll show you the video, like okay, right. like this, like what happened. <laughs> It's like trying to scoop it up. Yeah. That's sad, bro. Yo, well, what was your favorite? Um, you know those like OG YouTube classics. You know what I'm talking about, like yeah, uh, always, Charlie bit my finger. Oh, Charlie, those type of stuff. Fuck, I'm gonna have to get. What's what's your favorite one? Do you remember? I'm gonna have to look it up to be honest. Yeah, because I you, you know those um. You ever watch that that the Kiwi video? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know Kiwi. Wait. No, no, because that just reminded me. You know, yeah. um, annoying orange or what was it? Oh yeah, annoying that orange. Was <laughs> Yo, whatever happens, to that that was huge. Yeah, fam, they're still making videos. Are they? You know that? But nah. it's like pulling like thirty k. <laughs> oh, word! Yeah. I didn't even know they're still out. Yeah, bro. But at one point they had a show, bro. Really? At one, uh, one point they had a show on like Adult Swim. I swear. Really? Yeah. Of just said talking. Yeah, the talk annoying orange, and it was like a whole production, fam. That's crazy. How that could just turn into whatever that is. I'm pretty sure even Fred had his own show. Oh, before. Fred was so. I hated Fred. Yeah, I didn't really fuck with Fred. But like, I. It's 
it's crazy how I f- with annoying orange because they're kind of the same thing except one's a human and one's a fruit. Because <laughs> they're both kind of <laughs> no, but, but but annoying orange was funny. It was funny, yeah. To Fred, me, to me, yeah. Fred, Fred was more of like a you're kind of cringe, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. Who who's your who's your favorite like all time YouTuber? All time YouTuber, like OGs, OGs, OG. Because yo, I always say to myself. I want to interview Ryan Higa. Ryan Higa? I have to. Yeah. Eventually. He's one. He's literally my OG. No, that's a good pick though. Or like Kev Jumbo, one of them. Kev Jumbo is doing uh, Twitch now. Oh, is he? Is he? Yeah. yeah. But Ryan, Ryan, I think he's good for, he's set for life. Mm. Like he'll always be good. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's blessed, bro. Yeah, he's yeah. blessed. He's so good. He's probably, he's probably still gets paid from his old videos because they're that classic. Yeah, and, and I like how he always brought, like his team is still his team. Yeah. Like you have Will, you have um Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're all still with him. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And, and that's cool to see because usually it doesn't work out like that. I know. You know? And yo, it's it's fun to see um, you know what? Just kidding, just oh, kidding. Films no, and just kidding, JK party. No, no, I, I'm a, I'm a, like clear some shit up. Oh wow, there's this thing that happened, right? What happened where, recently? Where Tiff, they fired Tiff. Like, the, wait, why? The whole um JK cult yeah. kind of unsubscribed from JK. Oh shit! Because Bart and Joe are so much of a business that they would even though you're friends long term. You're still gonna send off your friend because they, they weren't working out. Wait, I, I didn't know that. Because I, I think Tiff was like financially struggling. Yeah. And they they let her off and didn't give her no surveillance pay or stuff like that. Oh shit. Or they didn't give a warning that she was gonna be fired. Oh. Fuck. So, and 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 Bart and Joe they don't go out their way to apologize ever. So yeah. it's crazy because in the JK news yeah. they replaced Tiff and. The dislike ratio was crazy. Oh, I shit. even commented. You'll see my comment. We're top comment. Word? Yeah, I said, I said, I'm ashamed. Like, like to, to all the people, the OG cast was so great that they're now replacing it with, with people that just like, yes, men. It's a bunch of guys that are just yes men to Joe and Bart. Damn. You know? I didn't even know that. Bro. Uh, we're top comment. We're, uh, that was kind of cool. Oh, shit. On the jumpers account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam, I didn't even know we did that. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I did it because because I, 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 because I knew I wanted to like pay my respects to Tiff. Yeah. You know? Because Tiff was my favorite. Word, yeah. And how they left off Julia, they left off David, you know? Damn, I didn't even know about that, bro. Yeah. I'll show you after, I'll show you after. See, because I don't don't get into the YouTube drama. I I, I love the YouTube drama. I I never watch those, but you watch them? Yeah. I never watch it. If if I hear it, I hear it from like, Shit, like yeah, um, Keemstar. <laughs> Keemstar, <laughs> Keemstar, not even a thing no more, bro. Yeah, he is, isn't he? But I don't, I don't like listen to Keemstar. I just like know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's crazy how um, you said that because it's like I, I kind of felt kind of ways because as a as a support, you, that would have been one of them. Yeah, that would have been yeah, one of them. Exactly. To pay respects to the OGs. Yeah. Those are one of the OGs. As a supporter for so long, and you're just like doing that to like your family or what I thought was your guys' family. Yeah, it's kind of heartbreaking. Damn. Yeah. Shit, that's tough, bro. I know. I don't <laughs> know where I want to go with that. I know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, what else was there? Um. Oh, Chris Move. I, I low-key want to play. I just want to play 2K with Chris Move. That's that's the end goal. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play 2K with Chris Move? You know, I bought my Does first. Does he still play? Yeah. You oh, know, I, bu- I, I bought my first PS4. And because con- of Chris Move? Con- just because Chris Move. You mean PS3? PS3, my bad. <laughs> PS3, just because Chris Move. Where? Like, after watching so many videos, I'm like, Dad, we Yo, have to get a Yo, where the is your Twitch fam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know me, man. If I say if I say it's in two weeks, it's like in a month, bro. Hop on the Twitch. I will, I'll get with because yo, know, I'm, I'm I'm planning. I have this idea that I want to do for Twitch too. Okay, man. but this is way longer. This is yeah. way later. But because remember, I told you I want to play all the nostalgia games. And yeah, shit? yeah, nostalgia games. So I I'm planning instead of just doing it just like me playing. Yeah. I'm going to do like a podcast. I was going to, yo, okay. So I had the idea too. I'm like, do we want to do live podcasts on Twitch? Cause that right now. Yeah, we can just do that. Yeah, just play games exactly. and then have like man's with you. Cause that's what's booming. They just put a podcast like game yeah. on the Twitch. So you, you know how it's like 2K, just chatting. Now yeah. it's podcast. Yo, if y'all want to see if us. If y'all want to see a live podcast, yeah, fam, we'll do it on leave Twitch. It, leave a like, leave a comment. Yo, exactly. maybe we'll do that. Exactly, fam. Cause I, I think. I think that'd be dope because I just just having like something in the background and yeah. we just talk about it, shit pops up. We talk oh, about you yeah. know. Oh, that's hard. We're, we're talking about fucking conspiracies while playing like Mario. I don't oh know because I I feel like that moment. A lot of people miss that moment, yo. Yeah, just, you know those moments where yeah. the whole somebody's playing a story game, but we're all invested. <laughs> yeah. You know, you feel me? Fam, you would you would be at a, a sleepover. And you would yeah. play a whole story game. You guys are looking at the stream the whole yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Right? Oh like you got the one cousin that knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just all rooting like, yo, go there, go there. <laughs> you're like all trying to solve the puzzles, bro. Give me the controller, bro. Yeah. Like I got next, I got next. Yeah, yeah. One more life, one more life. Yeah. 
<laughs> feel me? Yeah, that's true, bro. I think may- maybe that's why Twitch is so popular because it's kind of bringing that that nostalgia feeling. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you're just playing with your friends. Mm-hmm. Cool. It might it might be like that too, right? That might be the next thing. Fuck, man, we have to do that quick then because somebody might take that. Shit, people are gonna listen to yeah, me because I, 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 I know they <laughs> listen to my ideas, bro. I know they listen to my ideas. I don't take that. <laughs> but yeah, I bet. You wanna end it there? Yeah, we can end it there. Holy. All right, that was a dope episode. So. Yeah. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you haven't already, check out my new channel. Check out the vlogs on there. I'm gonna be doing much more vlogs. Yes. Sir. And yeah, any more announcements? Nah, no more announcements for me. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Yep. See you guys next time. Jump or jump out. Deuces. Thank you.